हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू तथास्तू आईसीएस एंड वेलकम टू इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ टुडेज टाइम्स व्हिच इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन टुडेज टाइम इन टुडेज स्पेस एंड दैट इज क्वाड आल्सो नोन एज क्वाड्रिलेटरल सिक्योरिटी डायलॉग क्यूएसडी ओके एंड क्वाड इज मेड अप ऑफ फोर कंट्रीज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज क्वाड व्हाई इज क्वाड सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ क्वाड for geopolitical purposes and is there any challenges for it and if it is there any challenge what could be the way forward okay let us start so it is also known as as i said quadrilateral security dialogue qsd or quad it's an informal group of india us japan and australia so these are the four countries which came together and which said though the whole story started somewhere around 2007 we will see the timeline also but just have a look at the brief things and it's a strategic dialogue with the objective to ensure a free a open inclusive and prosperous indo pacific region okay so these are the four words free open inclusive prosperous this is not something which you can just can overlook ki these are the uh, words and these are the hawaii baate and we can uh, just leave forget okay you need to uh, focus on these kind of words these are the key terms which can be used in your main answers so these are the words important for any organization which has been made they, broadly all the organizations be it asean be it be it bimstech more or less every organization has been made with a purpose but these are these are few key technical terms which can be used as a key term and it will fetch you marks okay so this is free open inclusive prosperous indo pacific region now what is indo pacific earlier indo pacific was used to be known as asia pacific okay but up uh, for last few years we are calling it indo pacific indo pacific is a it's a geopolitical term which comprises vast maritime area okay from uh, indian ocean to the central and pacific ocean so central and the western pacific ocean the area the area of ocean between indian ocean and the central and western pacific ocean is called indo pacific okay and why these four countries came together because they are sharing some values all these four countries have some basic common values which is the political structure the political setup of all these four countries are more or less same which is democratic setup they all follow dem democratic setup second the market economics all four countries more or less follow a similar kind of market economy uh, broadly a free market economy okay and a pluralistic society in japan in united states in india and at some extent in australia also though the population of australia is even less than delhi but whatever the number is there around 2 2 1/2 crores the people who are belonging especially in india and us they belong from different caste different region different religion different ethnic groups so that is why it has been called a pluralistic society so because they share a common value system ideally it was been it has been said because we share a common value system that is why we came together to form this informal group or form this group but in indo pacific uh, this, this is uh, this group is broadly to take over uh, to take care of indo pacific and indo pacific other than some smaller countries might be wealthy but geographically smaller countries with those smaller countries there are some countries other than these four countries there is also one more country china so you might be knowing where am i indicating and we'll go on that but before let's see the timeline what is the timeline okay so for the first time for the very first time this notion of quad was proposed by uh, the japanese prime minister shinzo abe in 2007 and he said he mooted the idea of quadrilateral security dialogue qsd it could not materialize due to the due to the reluctance of australia australia was, at that time was not very much confident uh, with going going with this idea so in 2007 it went into the it went into the thanda vasta okay five years down the line shinzo abe again initiated a concept of asia's democratic security diamond okay adsd involving australia india japan and us and the aim was to safeguard the maritime commons from the indian ocean to the western pacific ocean again it did not it failed to materialize and then the things five years down the line in november 2017 the quad coalition which is finally given the present day form is active now and it contains four countries as we know okay the aim was to keep critical sea routes now this is important sea route because it is broadly a maritime uh, 
thing which has been taken care of it is broadly to take care of the areas the ocean parts between india indo pacific indian ocean to pacific ocean although it has some also, uh, other purposes also which we will discuss about it in in the later later part of the lecture okay so the aim was to keep critical sea routes open and free for na navigating in indo pacific foreign ministers of the four countries held their first meeting under the quad framework in new york in september 2019 and this is a common practice uh, while covering asean while covering uh, bimstech we have seen this that whenever an organization needs to be set up it is being initiated in the same process the foreign minister meetings uh, take place the nsa level meetings take place and eventually the leaders of those countries the prime ministers or the presidents of the uh, the, the broadly the head of, head of these countries or the uh, all the people who are leading that country they, they come into the picture but all the all the drawing uh, comes into the place two three years before that time okay now what is the significance of this quad significance is the country which i mentioned earlier that is china the china factor is one of the most significant reason even it has been said that it is the sole purpose for the formation of quad okay so the china has formally been intimated its displeasures over the quad meetings china whenever the quad meetings held uh, for the first time in uh, 2019 and then whenever that quad meetings take place china always shows its displeasure china always suggests that they are not very happy with the idea of quad because it has been said that the narrative of quad is an anti-china tool eh? and it broadly works as a uh, asian nato okay so it broadly works in Asian NATO and we know what is the purpose of NATO article 5 and uh, if you attack on any country then all the 31 countries now it's 31 as Finland also joined it so all the 31 countries will give it give it to give it back to you okay so this is the idea of ASEAN uh, NATO and uh, article 5 and it has been called Asian NATO promoted by China now why Asian NATO because India and China both are closest to China and they both face the belligerent Chinese claims to territories and India also witnessed all these things in Doklam, in Galwan. In Galwan, we lost our soldiers, we lost the lives of our soldiers, around 20 soldiers have been dead. The... So there are problems with China and uh, India and China both know that there are situations which can arise. So for that, to, to take care of those possible scenarios, this uh, organization, this squad meeting has been done. Not an alliance, but a grouping. Now, whenever it has been accused as an ally, it, it has been accused as a military alliance. So, people who are in the favor of these things, they come in, in, into the defense of it. For example, the leader of it, because lead, the leader of it, because the USA is the biggest economy and the USA is Uncle Sam would be the leader of any organization. Even if it is in a dwindling state right now, the economy of US, the uh, dollar is getting depreciated. Still, Buddha share Sheri hai we be. And USA is the leader and USA says that Quad is not an alliance but a grouping of countries driven by shared interest and values and interested in strengthening a rule-based order in strategic important Indo-Pacific region. Okay, So USA says that we want to establish a rule-based order in us in that Indo-Pacific Indo region which is strategically very important because large amount of trade happens in that region. Okay, Let's move on with the things. Now, what is the importance of Quad for India? Why is Quad so much important for India? First, countering Chinese influence. First thing is this, because the recent standoffs on Indo-China border, as I told you, and as we all know, be it Doklam, be it Galwan, we have experienced this, okay? So, Indo-China borders, the reluctance of Russia to step in and build pressure is forcing India to look for the alternatives. Now, it was expected, the, the, the things which have happened, in both the scenarios in Galwan and Doklam, it was on the expected line. We were expecting China to do some mischievousness. But Russia, which has been our trusted partner, Russia, which has always helped us in our critical situations, when Russia didn't step in, not only to support us, but it didn't step in even to mediate between the, between the two countries. So that's why that was the situation when we were alarmed and that was, that was the situation when we were looking for the alternatives. And Quad is one such alternative. Second thing is why Quad is important for India, the post-COVID diplomacy, okay. Now, in diplomacy, there are in geopolitical diplomacies, there are two things. One is hard power and another is soft power, okay. 
so hard power is all the military strengths and now the ai and the cyber stuffs and all those things soft power is vaccination the education the healthcare system the infrastructure building and all those things okay so india can leverage its expertise in the vaccines and pharma industries to increase its soft power this is the thing which india because during these covid times there were periods there were there were times when india was exporting its vaccines to the other countries and that was really making it the way india wants to claim it the leader of the global south so it all these things make you the leader of the global south and the, make you the region leader of that region okay now the disruption across the world and non transparent systems of the china now recently only uh, day before yesterday we were covering china and uh, how the classic fall of dragon is and what is the current scenario in china regarding the deflationary situation and how bad how drastically bad the situation is in china economically and during those times when that numbers were coming in the dwindling numbers were coming in so the solution which china opted was to stop the data okay will not publish the data na rahegi bans na bajegi bans sorry okay so here also that's the that's one incidence that one that that is the one example only why it is being said that china is not transparent china is opaque and in that trans uh, non transparent scenario in that with that opaqueness india can take lead and become the world's manufacturing hub or as I, as i'm saying again and again it can absolutely lead the global south okay now further japan and us wants to shift their manufacturing companies out of china in order to curb its imper imperialistic behavior now with china uh, it's happening that everything is related to the money power why do we say this ki when america sneezes the whole world catches the cold because america has that weight okay america has that economic power america with with america all the countries are aligned similarly with china all the countries are getting aligned for last 20 25 years the way china is having its imports and exports with other countries be it russia be it africa be it any other country okay so in that scenario it has been said that japan and us particularly want it to be weakened economically at least they, and they want their dependence to be reduced and it's not a thing which is, which needs to be done it's not a thing which will be happening in future foxconn apple all these big big giant companies are leaving china so these are the things and by leaving china where the, where apple has set up its all manufacturing hub where apple is setting it after leaving china it's india okay so it will in it inevitably support india now india sagar initiate initiative under the sagar initiative india wants to become a net security provider in indian ocean okay and it would be easy for india to join uh, a grouping which is specifically exclusively focused on this area okay now the quad cooperation may give india access to multiple strategic locations for creating naval bases like china has been creating its naval bases in different different parts uh, of of these regions of the world by by being the group by being the member of this group india would be having that advantage to set up its naval bases in different parts of indo pacific okay so it would be uh, not only infrastructural but security advantage it will provide india security advantages a multipolar world now prime minister you, you must have heard prime minister modi again and again saying this that uh, india is what is india india doesn't want ki ab wo na kisi se wo chahta hai india bhi nahi chahta ki wo na aankh jhuka kar baat karna chahta hai na aankh utha kar ab aankh mein aankh dal kar baat karna chahte hain theek hai so we want things to be done in a amicable way in a respectable manner okay and in a multipolar world to achieve that amicability to achieve that respective respectable position it's only possible in an in a multipolar world it's not possible in a in a in an environment or in a scenario where it is being said as as i just given you the example ki when america sneezes the whole world catches the cold there there is the need when every country has its own weight when every country has its own economic financial independence we all have got our territorial independence now is the time people are looking for financial independence and that is the reason why india is time and again looking for the things like india ua dirham deal theek the rupee and dirham deal india wants to exclude this usa thing okay and if india wants to exclude usa then there is no point of integrating china into it there is no because china is posing as those security those infrastructural threats okay so india has support supported a rule based multipolar world 
and a quad can help it in achieving its ambitions and becoming a regional superpower. Okay, now let's move on. The climate change thing. It's also important for climate change. India has time and again showed its uh, determination towards the initiative, uh, the init towards the initiative initiatives which needs to be taken for the climate change to reduce the problems of the climate change. Okay, so the climate change problem calls for an urgency and that urgency, that urgent action. Now, Quad nations are working on 2030 targets, all the targets which have been set up under SDGs, uh, Sustainable Development Goals. The countries under Quad are repeatedly saying that we'll achieve it. Specifically, India is saying that we'll be a net zero country. We'll, uh, we, we won't be uh, producing, uh, we, we will be producing zero carbon by 2070, okay? So, the Quad nations are working on 2030 targets for the national emission and renewable energy clean energy innovation and deployment for all those things okay the most commendable commitment in their focus on increasing the indo-pacific region's uh, resilience to climate change by improving critical climate information sharing and disaster resilient infrastructure information is the key now okay data is data is a new while we, we all know that but by sharing that information only you will be able to create that impact so by by being the part of these groupings it would be easy to share to it would be easy to manage all these things okay so these are the things now what are the challenges before the quad now there must be if there are opportunities if there are things which needs to be achieved from a particular specific thing then there are some challenges which are also attached to it so what are the challenges one is distraction of europe why is europe distracted because of russia okay russia now russia has done this thing russia has invaded one of the biggest i i don't know how correct is, how politically correct it is to call this word uh, invaded because india has a stance and as political has a certain stance that uh, it has a neutrality into it and that's one of the uh, negative points of the quad also okay we'll, we'll see to it let's so, care what are the challenges of quad one is distraction of europe russia's invasion of ukraine has invasion of ukraine okay it has been written the russia's invasion of ukraine has shaken up the old world order and reshaping the geopolitics across the world because why the old world order has been shaken up we have uh, we have been talking about all these things that russia has been excluded from the swift, swift system in response to that uh, that they are out of the swift system russia has been blocking the uh, black sea green deal initiative they they saying they we won't be going we can't go with the black sea green deal Okay, so there are the things which are shaping the geopolitics, which are reshaping the geopolitics. And in the wake of Putin's aggression in Ukraine, it has made new demands on US attention and resources, promoting questions about American appetite to take the two rivals. And who are these two rivals? One was the traditional rival, okay, which we were thinking would be over with the disintegration of the United States, USSR. But uh, there is another rival that that is China. So with this with this invasion of uh, russia it has been said that uh, the new cold war is going to be between america and china and with the rise of the russia it has been asked that does us has that appetite he he uh, us would be able to take over both the rivals now three members us japan and australia have taken an unequiv unequivocal uh, stand against the russia's aggression now the fourth member india it has showed its neutrality and calls for the respect of territorial sovereignty and inte integrity of United Nations Charter, but does not criticize India, classic India stance, be it Palestine, uh, Israel issue, be it anything. Broadly, India takes the stance, broadly, India takes the idea of non-alignment. Non and with Russia also, we have, as I've told you, that there have been instances in the past when Russia helped us, when United States didn't come out. So, we can't really cross that Lushman Rekha, okay? Now, the threat of China. Second thing is, uh, why, what are the challenges? What are the challenges before Quad? First is in uh, uh, dis uh, distraction of Europe and second would be the threat of China. Each Quad member views Chinese threat differently. Now, that's the issue, okay? You are here for something. Uh, if it is absolutely clear and it, it has been said that uh, all the four countries are here to counter China, but maybe the reason is same, but the but the processes or the purpose or the idea is different. Okay, 
बिकॉज फॉर यू एस इट्स अबाउट द ट्रेड वॉर्स एंड द ताइवान चाइना इज बीन रिपीटेडली सेइंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कैप्चर ताइवान वन डे और दर ओके एंड देर इज बीन अ ऑन गोइंग ट्रेड वॉर बिटवीन यू एस एंड चाइना सो दैट्स द रीजन फॉर यू एस फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया दैट इज ट्रेड ट्रेड इज द बिगेस्ट इशू फॉर दम इन द एंड द रिसेंट इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ चाइनीज मिलिट्री बेस इन सोलोमान आईलैंड ब्रॉट एंड न्यू डायमेंशन टू इट बट ब्रॉडली फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट हैज बीन ट्रेड दैट ऑस्ट्रेलिया हैज बीन ऑन द रिसीविंग एट एंड विद चाइना while doing the trades and all these things for india and japan which are closest to china both these uh, countries are facing chinese issue that they'll be one day matlab it, it has been said by few people that china is somewhere sitting on the indian land uh, after the all the galwan crisis after all the galwan crisis and both india and china are are bit worried about it because china is a big strength they have military power they have economic power and they are the neighbor so there could be a there could be a scenario there could be a situation where china would come with all the arms loaded up okay third is non security initiatives now cutting edge technology pharmaceuticals and infrastructures have been described as the key battle grounds in the contest with china now these are the new tools these are the new things and with china these are the things where it has been said maybe by being on the same page by being a by being the part of a group maybe there's a chance that uh, we can beat china in these things okay so that is why it has been said that is why it has been said in the conclusion uh, now it's time to conclude the things as we have talked about the positives and the negatives we have talked about the opportunities and the challenges and the definition of and the origin of the quad and the timeline of it so while concluding it the quad has evolved as a unique partnership and is poised to play a meaningful role in promoting these are the things these are the words which are important for your mains examination so please note it down promoting stability security and development in the indo pacific region the quad countries recognize each others approaches and have endeavored to receive the group by building on the areas of convergence okay the recently held quad summit has an outline has outlined a vision that encompasses a broad canvas okay now it has been a why a broad canvas is needed because it has been said it has been criticized that broadly the quad is focused only on the mar maritime thing okay so you need if you if you're looking for a if you're looking to counter china and if that is one of your priority area so you have to come out of that uh, maritime region only of that maritime issue only and you have to focus for the broad, on the broader picture and you have to look at the broader canvas okay it indicated a clear intent to address common challenges and tap opportunities both existing and potential and cooperatively and collaboratively you have to cooperate you have to collaborate for the for the challenges which are still which are which are still in front of quad and uh, the challenges which could which could possibly come in front of quad okay so these are the things which we which we have to talk about quad and we covered it comprehensively we talked about its opportunities we talked about its challenges and we talked about a way forward that what are the things on through which quad if if quad goes there is a better chance to achieve what they want to achieve or what they are meant to achieve okay so this is it for today we'll meet in the other class until then take care